Today in our 2012 Ford Escape, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Draw Tight Custom Fit Class 2 Trailer Hitch Receiver. This is an inch and a quarter opening. Its part number is 36501. Here's what the hitch is going to look like once you get it installed on your vehicle. It's got that square tube design so it's nice and symmetrical going across. Small plate here that protects the underside of the vehicle. And with this being a class two, you'll have a lot of different accessories that are going to work out great for this hitch. Cargo carriers, bike racks, ball mounts, of course, they're all going to work fine. You've got the extra cowler here, which works great with a, a hitch immobilizer. Um, standard class two pin It's going to slide through. It does come with the pin, so you won't have to worry about picking that up. And the hitch itself is going to offer a 300 pound gross tongue weight rating or a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. Now, of course, you'll look into the escapes manual, determine what its weight limits are, and go off of whichever of those are the lowest. Now, the hitch offers a really easy installation. It's just a matter of getting four bolts up into place and then putting a washer and a nut on there. Now, I'm gonna give you just a couple of measurements that'll help you in selecting your bike rack, ball mount, or maybe cargo carrier. From the ground to the inside edge of the top of a receiver tube opening, We've got about 17 and a quarter inches. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about even. Let's take a look at our mounting location so you can see that we're gonna have two here on the inside of the passenger frame rail and two here on the driver's side in the exact same spot, right inside the frame rail here. And we'll be getting to those from the back of the frame rail. There's gonna be an opening here and an opening here to allow us to slide our bolts up and in. Now here on the driver's side, we're gonna start with the rearmost hole and we'll place our fish wire in the hole and then direct it back towards the rear of the vehicle. You can see it's gonna pop out right out of that location we pointed out. Now we wanna slide our spacer block on and we'll follow that up by threading on our half inch carriage bolt. Now we'll feed these up into our hole separately. Push the block, feed it up and in, and then we'll follow that up with our bolt. Now let's just let that hang out for now and we'll go to the passenger side where we'll do the same thing. And we'll give this the same treatment. It'll get the spacer block and the carriage bolt. Lock up and in, then our bolt. All right, now we're ready to grab our hitch. Now when putting it up into position, it's a good idea to get you an extra set of hands to kind of help you hold it. And then we'll feed our fish wire from the outside of our hitch towards the inside. And then just kind of use that to guide us up to our whole location. Once we get there, let's pull through our bolt and our block just like that. Now that'll support the hitch for us easily. I wouldn't rely on it 100%, but then we can remove our fish wire here. Now hang on to your fish wire. You'll need it for your other bolt as well. And then we're gonna place on a conical tooth washer. The teeth of the washer are gonna face in towards the hitch. And then we'll thread on one of the hex bolts. Now let's go over to our passenger side and do the same thing. All right, those are our front two bolts. That'll hold the hitch into position while we get our next set of bolts going. And we'll do this the same thing we did. Pull our fish wire out towards the back here. We'll add our spacer and our bolt. Just like before, feed them in separately. Then we can draw them on through using our pool wire.
Then we'll head on over to the driver's side and do that one more time for our final bolt. With those snug down, we can take a quick look and be sure our hitch is centered. Now we'll go through and tighten each of our nuts down. And then we'll grab our torque wrench and torque them down to specifications. That specification you can find in your instruction manual. With everything secure, that's going to complete today's installation of the Draw Tight Custom Fit Class 2 Trailer Hitch, part number 36501, on our 2012 Ford Escape.